All right, today is Constitution Day. I had no idea. You know mm -hmm. what? Thank God for Kara. <laughs> She's here to drop all the fun yes. facts about our country's most famous rule book. That's right. It is time now for things to care about. Hello. We even moved to a different location ourselves here, Kara. We did. We moved from the sofa That's the right. Chair. And was that easy for you? Because it it's not in these <laughs> yes. final days. It's all, it's it's all good. Just, it's all good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Am I glowing? Yes, you no. are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Come Barely on, little girl. Back. You come on out. It's now. good. It's good. <laughs> yes. My mom doesn't get here to this weekend, so maybe like next no. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Would be good. Maybe wait a few days. Yeah, That's right. Just a few more days. I In need. the meantime, yes. sit back, relax. Tell us all about okay. September 17th. All right. Well, it's the anniversary of the day the framers signed the Constitution back in 1787. But how much do you know about one of the most influential documents in the entire world? I don't or maybe know. just here in the U.S. I don't know if anybody <laughs> else cares about it. But here's some fast facts from Mental Floss. Okay, so if you think it's unreasonably hot outside today, the framers could have related because the Constitution was drafted in Philadelphia over the course of a humid summer. The windows of Independence Hall were shut to discourage oh, no. eavesdroppers. And this is my favorite part. Many of the delegates who were mostly from out of town wore and rewore the same thick wool garments yes. day after day. It smelled like a Bikram yoga class up in there, people. <laughs> it sure did. Ugh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The wigs, wool. the clothes. Can you imagine? The, oh, my goodness. No. If we had to get up and put on wool clothes no. every day. They were like, let's hurry up. Let's get this thing over with. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yes. They're like, we don't want anybody spying. They're like, we don't care at this point. <laughs> right, right. Everyone will know what I, the Constitution has yes. in it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would think it's interesting because, interesting you know, we celebrate Independence on, Day on July 4th, but the Constitution was not signed until today. All right. And also, writing it costs just $30. So that's how much Jacob Shallis, who literally inked the paper, was paid, which translates to about $900 in today's huh. inflation rates. Wow. Yes. I Interesting, like that. huh? I like that. Oh, look at somebody mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. doing the snake or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And they're hot clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah they can still clothes. get down. They're interested. Yeah, <laughs> so fired up about it. This is another thing you might not know. found it very interesting. Um, the Constitution is riddled with some incorrect spelling because when it was written, English spellings had not yet been standardized. So as a result, the document contains odd spellings, British spellings, and peculiar words that might look odd today, but were ex acceptable at that time. You just saw Pennsylvania only spelled with one N. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what, why they decided to add another N, but yeah. apparently they found it to be important. Right. Mm -hmm. But we hadn't established those standards yet, so right. it was a little, yeah. in, you know, interesting it now to look back and see. Yes. That's what my mother those differences. always taught me, too, is that we don't say things are weird. We say things are interesting or so that's a joke in my family pecu oh, no peculiar <laughs> because then that's definitely right. negative <laughs> yes <laughs> but i do like it you sound very like uppity if you would say mm, peculiar it's such a peculiar mm -hmm. thing yes. i'm gonna start using that word more okay. i like it okay this is um i didn't know this but apparently benjamin franklin had to be carried to the constitutional oh, convention no. he was 81 and he had a battle case of gout and he could barely stand which you know they say gout is the rich man's disease so he must have been eating and drinking very well. Instead of walking, he arrived at Independence Hall on at least the first couple of days, carried by four prisoners from the Walnut Street Jail, so who ferried weird. him around in the city in a sedan chair. Franklin was oh. the oldest person to indeed sign the document. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Oh, who knew? I didn't realize he was that old. Right. Yeah, he had lived a, a really good long life and got to he did. see the comp constitution it's really good for come the to old fruition. Timey days. Yes. Yeah, eighty one. It is for the old timey days. Mm -hmm. That's how Caroline refers to it. Were you born in the old time days? I'm like, <laughs> really? no, 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 not that old time. No, yeah, exactly. Also, it took four people to carry him around. Interesting. And how did you get signed up for that job? You're just in jail one day and then you're like, <laughs> right, can you like, ferry Ben right. Franklin around? Yes, that's hmm. how it worked. I or they busy. maybe that would have been a, a good thing. Like right. you yeah, are get especially even fresh anything. air. Yeah. Go ahead and get out there. That's right. We they had to smell them in the wool clothes though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. That's a good okay, this is also interesting. Not every founding father signed it. So this is a misconception. Thomas Jefferson never signed the Constitution because he was busy serving as a minister to France in Paris. John Adams, who was serving as minister to Great Britain. He didn't sign it either. And others such as Samuel Adams, Patrick Henry, and John Hancock simply weren't even there. They didn't attend. No. What? When Henry was asked why he declined to attend the convention, he said, I smell a rat. Mm. Or 
the people in their wool clothes. <laughs> it, could the have been, it could have been the stench coming yes. from that room. Right. I don't know. By the Maybe way, he's onto something. He allegedly said that. We weren't there. We don't right. know. We don't know. But, <laughs> But that's what they said. Yes. So he didn't. Right, allegedly. He wasn't, he wasn't maybe keen on the way it was all mm. going down, I guess. Yeah, or maybe Perhaps. he just had other plans that day. Who knows? He was like, I'm not doing that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, this, fun, these are so fun. Okay, you can also thank the Constitution for your annual stuffing and cranberries. Are you a stuffing and cranberries kind of girl? You know, I'm a stuffing, yes. Cranberries, okay. not so much. Ooh, My mother-in-law loved stuffing too. cranberries. She yes. loved cranberries. And they have to be fresh in a certain way, yeah. and you make that delicious stuff, and you sure do, but in, 19, in 1789, George Washington issued a proclamation calling for a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to thank God for affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness. The date was set for Thursday, November 26, 1789, Turkey Day, Thanksgiving as we know it, wasn't made a federal holiday until the Civil War. Wow. Who knew? So interesting. Who yes. knew that, Kara? I don't I know, like there were a lot of them. Facts. There's another one that I just want to get to really quick, even though Danielle told me to wrap because it's so interesting. So but the 25th, <laughs> yeah, kind of. The 25th Amendment yes. has been invoked three times. The 25th Amendment, if you don't know, is when the president calls for the vice president to take care of their duties because they're unable to do it. And it has been invoked three times from Bush and Reagan because they were getting colonoscopies. Wow. Yes. I'm glad that you who knew. That. I'm, I'm glad that who we saved knew? Who knew that? I honestly, it was in my notes, and I was like, what's a cologne? What's a col Colo Oh, a colon. A colon oh, an actual colonoscopy, colonoscopy is why yes. they could not perform their duties. So Got it. good to know. And Talk about that at dinner tonight. That's right. <laughs> right. Just drop that little bit of knowledge.